Hello everyone. Welcome to another great episode of the Fat Vegan Chef. Today I'm going to be making another veganized recipe that I made during my tenure as a chef. This one was a really popular dish called Chicken Caramia. It was one of my favorite dishes to eat and to make. And I'm glad that I'll be making it for you and sharing it for you here. Uh, it's another dish for two. One that you'll need a nice bottle of Italian white wine to serve with. Perfect for those romantic date nights with your significant other. Well, let's go ahead and make this. The tools that you're going to need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, a rubber spatula, a spoon, some tongs, knife, measuring cups, measuring spoons. You'll also need a blender or a food processor, saute pan, you'll need a stock pot with a lid, a and a couple of strainers. This one you're going to use to cook the pasta first and this one you'll need to use to cook the pasta second. When you reheat it, you also need a bowl and a shallow long pan of some kind. The ingredients that you're going to need to make my veganized version of chicken caramia are one package of the Guardian chicken breast and I have thawed these, four artichoke hearts that's been quartered, one avocado and we're going to dice this fine right before serving, one quarter cup of green onions that's been sliced thin, two cups of baby bella mushrooms that's been sliced, one teaspoon of minced garlic, you can add more if you like it more garlicky, one quarter teaspoon of granulated garlic, one quarter teaspoon each of dried oregano and dried basil, one quarter teaspoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of vegan chicken base, one half cup of white wine, one quarter cup of 80-20 oil or three tablespoons of vegetable oil and one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. We we'll also need two cups of vegan cream sauce, two cups of pasta that has been cooked according to the directions minus a minute and then you'll want to cook it with water that's been salted so it tastes kind of like the sea and then drain it, cool it, and then oil it and then we're going to reheat this right before we serve it. And I'm actually using fettuccine nests. I like the way that they come out better than the regular fettuccine. They come out with a, like a nice thicker noodle like this. And when you cook this, save a cup of the oil from the fettuccine and we're going to use this for our heavy cream. Now to make the heavy cream, you'll need two cups of cashews that has been soaking for at least 20 minutes. And I'm using cashew, just cashew pieces. You can use halves, whole, doesn't matter because we're gonna blend this up in the blender. One tablespoon of nutritional yeast flakes, one half teaspoon of sea salt, one half teaspoon of white pepper. And then we'll also need more water than this, water as needed probably will need a total of two cups, two and a half cups. You will also need one half cup of flour, one half teaspoon of black pepper, one half teaspoon of sea salt. You'll need to blend this together and put it in that shallow dish. That's the ingredients that we're gonna to need to make the chicken caramia. I would suggest getting them all prepped and ready to go because when we put the chicken in the saute pan, it's gonna cook really fast. You wanna have everything prepped and ready to go before you actually cook it. Let's go ahead and gather up the ingredients and we'll go ahead and make the vegan heavy cream when you come back. You have all of your ingredients prepped and ready to go. So let's go ahead and make the vegan heavy cream sauce really quick here. First, we're gonna go ahead and take our cashews. Again, these have been soaking for at least 20 minutes and then drained and rinsed two cups of them. We're going to add our one cup of water that's from the fettuccine that you cooked earlier. One half teaspoon of sea salt, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast flakes, and one half teaspoon white pepper. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit more water. I'm going to start out with just a little over a cup. So there's a little over two cups of water in here. Going to puree this until it becomes very well blended. My heavy cream is finished. If you have a 
really poor food processor or blender like I have. You may have to strain it a few times to get most of the big chunks out, which I have done. If you've got a really good blender or food processor, you may not have to do that. Try to get as many of the little chunks of cashews out as possible. And you want to go ahead and measure two cups. Now we'll go ahead and bread our chicken. Next, we're going to go ahead and bread our vegan chicken. What we'll need to do is get our flour mixture and our vegan chicken. And we're going to go ahead and just lightly coat this. And again, these are the Guardian chicken scallopinis. We have thawed these out. And I'm just going to go ahead and lightly coat this. And this will help keep them from sticking in the pan and also help thicken our sauce as well. All right, I have the chicken scallopinis all nicely coated with the flour mixture. Now I'll go ahead and meet you over at the stove and we'll cook this dish up. We're back over at the stove. I want to make sure the importance of having all your ingredients prepped and ready to go is just like the chicken marsala dish that I cooked earlier. This dish does cook pretty quickly and you're not going to have time to do a lot of prep. Otherwise you're going to start burning things. I have a pot in the back burner here that is heating up some water to reheat the pasta so it's ready to go after this dish is cooked. So I've got my pan heating up now. I have it about medium high to high right now. So it's getting hot. Once this uh, pan gets hot, I'm going to go ahead and add my quarter cup of oil. And again, it's either 80-20 oil or three tablespoons of vegetable oil to one tablespoon of regular extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to go ahead and add my oil now. And as you can hear, it's very hot. I'm going to go ahead and add my vegan chicken now and gently place it in the oil. Try not to burn yourself. And we're gonna let this saute for a few minutes. Next, we're gonna go ahead and flip the vegan chicken over. And now we're gonna go ahead and add the garlic, oregano, white pepper, garlic powder, basil, and our mushrooms. And we're gonna cook this until the mushrooms are done. And if the vegan chicken gets browned on the bottom, what we'll do is put this on top. The mushrooms are pretty much cooked off. So I'm gonna go ahead and deglaze the pan by adding the white wine. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and added the vegan chicken base to the white wine. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the hot pan here. And that will deglaze it and we're going to reduce the white wine by half. The white wine has reduced by half, so I'm going to go ahead and add in my heavy cream mixture I made before. And now I'm going to reduce this by half. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add my green onions, artichoke hearts, and avocado. I'm also going to go ahead and start getting the water ready for the pasta. Give this a quick mix here, and then I will heat the pasta back up, and I'll see you over at the counter. All right, let's go ahead and plate this up. Uh, what you want to do is put two pieces of the vegan chicken breast on one side of the plate, like so. Looking really pretty. Then on the other side of the plate, go ahead and put in part of the heated fettuccine. And then what you want to do is, oh, let me go grab a spoon. All right, what you want to do is go ahead and scoop up some of the sauce and put it on the fettuccine and on the vegan chicken breasts and try to make sure you grab some of the avocado and the artichoke hearts. You don't want to give your date 
and you saw us without any kind of artichoke hearts now, do you? She would, he or she would be very upset. Alright, so now what you can do is garnish it with some lemon and some parsley if you want. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. I'll make sure you clean the plate and make it look like nice and pretty. But this is what it's going to look like when it's nice and done. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this recipe. If you know somebody who would enjoy it, please share it with them. And if you made it, please let me know and share it with me as well. I want to see how it turned out. I can be found at all social media. Just look for The Fat Vegan Chef. Help me pay for the cost of the food for these recipes. Go to tfbc.org forward slash donate to find out how. My car Mia is getting cold. Excuse me while I eat it.